five players, uh, from my opinion, I guess one would come to mind would be John Logan's massive impact in 95. I think the way he performed and the way he took the world um, in that one World Cup was quite amazing. The way he scored his tries and he pretty much dominated every game. White to Lamu, he's got the bounce, he's handed off his opposite. Lamu! comes to mind, George Gregan from Aussie. Pretty, pretty tenacious, highly competitive. A little bit cheeky, but uh, another, another great player. They've got an overlap on the side again. Wyatt misses his man. Gregan inside, and he's over. Try Australia. Uh, you can't afford to give a backline of this quality and experience opportunities like this. No mistakes, George Gregan over in the corner. I guess Steve Larkin wouldn't be too far behind for me. I just think those sorts of players seem to have a lot more time than the rest of us. Seem to know where to be at the right times, right places, and great vision. Drop goal from Larkin! Yeah, no, I think he deserves to be in the top five, no doubt. Whilst it's hard to, to single out individuals, there's something about Richie McCaw and Daniel Carter for me. Might be a little bit biased because these seem to be Kiwi blokes, but last two World Cups, the All Blacks have won. Um, they've been tickle parts of, that, of those victories. And a terrific tackle from McCaw, wasn't it? Carter goes for the top goal. 